and all throughout the ballpark today. It is said Jackie Robinson Day. Players are honoring him in a multitude of different ways. Christopher Morrell wearing special cleats that Nike made with the number 42 on them. For the D-backs, right-hander Merrill Kelly. We call him Merrill the mainstay. So underrated for his consistency. And Bobby's been that and more to begin this year. This is sliced high in the air, fairly deep left field. Ernest Gurriel Jr. is there, and there's one away. Two and two to Swanson. Back to the slider, and he gets his first strikeout. And Bellinger will take his base, so Cody works a two out walk. One hopper right at Kevin Newman, and they go the short way for the force. Tori Lovello's team. Well, in the first inning this year, they have hit 439. They have seven first inning homers. They've slugged over 800, but the Cubs have allowed a major league low two runs in the first. Something's oh, got to give. Tension. It's the rookie right hander, Ben Brown. And slaps that one into center, and Belly is there to make the catch. Center field, that's pretty well struck. Bellinger back. Cody slowing down, and he makes the catch. Driven towards center. It looks like Bellinger is going to win this game of fungo fly balls as he catches all three in the bottom of the first. We'll send Michael Bush to the plate. Bush, quite a stretch right now. The first baseman was homered now in four consecutive games. The 0 2. Swing and a high fly ball drilled out towards right center field. That one back and gone. He's done it again. Five in a row. Michael Bush and it's one nothing. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. You can't contain him. Just an unbelievable run for Michael Bush. That's the list. I mean, geez. Hack Wilson, Ryan Sandberg, Sammy Sosa, Christopher Morrell. So the kid from Minnesota came over in that trade in January is red hot. The Cubs have gotten the fewest innings from their starters of any team in baseball. And he's on board again. Lead off walk. Good start to the second. Jock Peterson lifts that in the air. Swanson drifting out. And Dansby makes the call and the grab. Disciplined at bats. They're going to make him throw strikes. He's walked two in the inning. Well, Blue runners at first and second for right fielder Jake McCarthy. Base hit for Jake. Here comes Walker. Gabby into third, Jake McCarthy ties the ball game. And McCarthy ties the game with a clutch two-out knock. On the ground, corner there, and gobbles it up. Throws to first, and that's the inning. Talked about efficiency with Merrill Kelly, and naturally, to this point, this is his highest pitch total at this point in a game. So he's had to work a little bit more than normal. Boy, Merrill Kelly just disposed of Morrell pretty quickly. Four strikeouts for Merrill. He set down seven of the last eight he's faced. Inside, and he walked him. And that's the other part of the Michael Bush story offensively. Right field corner, McCarthy toward the line. And Jake has got it in foul ground. Bush back to the bag at first, and there's two outs. Little check swing tapper gets by Merrill. Arte charges. That'll do it. In this top of the fourth inning, Merrill Kelly coming off a 23 pitch fourth inning, the second most pitches he's thrown in any inning this year. Right at the knees with that fastball, and Merrill has his fifth strikeout. And a line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. And Miguel Amaya comes up with the knock. Well, Tapper, that's going to stay fair for Merrill, applies the tag on half. My end is second. That's out number two. That hangs up. Don't collide again. Look out. Boy, that would have been two in two nights. And the inning is over. As that one bounces to the left side. And Morrell. Woo! There's the pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Foul tipped into the mid. As the Diamondbacks go down in order. The bottom of the sixth, Ben Brown has found himself in a really good groove. He has set down 10 in a row. Nico Horner lays out and steals a hit from Guriel. Ben Brown absolutely loving it. Brilliant work from Ben Brown here tonight, allowing just one run on one hit through six innings. What's for the Cubs? One run, one hit for the Diamondbacks. And there's the fourth hit for the Cubs, Cooper. A leadoff single against Castro. Nico takes inside and gets hit by the pitch. Yeah.
called strike three stuck with that sinker and Talkman is rung up his third strikeout tonight. Oh two. Amaya trying to drop one in there but Lourdes tracks it down. So Castro after a single and a walk gets two outs and now the batter is Ian Happ. Good meeting. Gino Suarez scoops it up. Joe Mantiply. So Mantiply does well to clean up the mess. Reaches out and pops it up behind second. And Kevin Newman's there. And Bellinger grounds one up the middle, and that's a base hit. He's played all three outfield spots at DH last year, lines it to left. Lurtis is there. Two down. Bellinger holds down there. That's in there for a strike. How about Ryan Thompson getting three big outs, and they strand Bellinger at first. Diamondbacks still have only one hit. A Jake McCarthy RBI single. In the air, shallow right field coming on. Topman! Oh, Mike, what a catch! He laid out and stole a hit from Marino. Oh, Richick slams it down the line. That's a fair ball. That's in the corner and off the wall. Half can't pick it up. Grichik standing up at second. And there's the go-ahead run. That's their first hit since the second inning. And only their second hit in the ball game. You could tell Marte who's going to get a free pass here with first base open. Burke from the left hand batting Corbin Carroll. Former Jackie Robinson Rookie of the Year winner. Richick for third. He's there. Amaya with the block, but it rolled in front of the mound. Right now, the Diamondbacks, they're just looking for one. Base hit. Richick's home. Corbin Carroll gives them the lead, and Marte's in at third. Two out, two run single in the fifth inning yesterday against the Cardinals. And this one even bigger. It makes it 2 1 Diamondbacks. Cubs need a base runner. Line drive, base hit, right field. They have a base runner. The other way, and a base hit. Tockman delivers with a couple of strikes on him. And now the tying run is in a scoring position. Got him. One run game, two on and two out in the ninth. Half single in the third, he's one for four. And the dirt kicks away, Moreno can't find it. Horner coming around, here comes Nico, he's in! And we are tied! He scores all the way from second on a wild pitch! On a bounce, Swanson throws out Suarez, and we're headed to the tenth. Half to short, Newman. Close at first, they get the out, Haps in at third. So they're going to put Bellinger on and hope that Madrigal can hit a double play ball. Bounce to short, Newman, one, Marte, two. Yeah. Bryce Jarvis dials up a double play ball. And the Cubs don't score. Neither one of these teams has won an extra inning game yet this season. And good job right there to two. Line drive, base hit out into left center field. Madrigal had to hold up as the throw comes all the way in. But now base is loaded and nobody out with Nicky at the plate. Line drive, base hit right field. Only one will score. If you can keep this to three and two, it'd be a minor miracle. Yep. Walker's got it coming home. Here's one, and that's it. And they're able to cut down Bush at the plate. Bryce Jarvis goes to the slider, gets an enormous strikeout. Swing and a miss. Bryce Jarvis fired up. The Cubs, they do get one, but they leave them loaded. With a count two and two, Keegan Thompson trying to finish off the slugger with two outs and end this game. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Ball game. Cubs win. That is a good win for the Cubs.